A la vie, love it. It's your girl Clementine from Big Empress Energy sending you beautiful, bountiful blessings. Stay open to receiving them. Mm, mm, mm. Mis amores. It's your girl Clementine. I record chores, energy, and people to fill. Oh, and this is our new moon in Gemini. Pick a card, pick a crystal, get a psychic message, see what resonates, okay, and leave whatever does not. I'm live on Instagram and I will be recording this and posting it on YouTube after, okay? Um, I'm double recording. Um, how are you guys feeling right now? Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the live how y'all feeling today. What's the vibe? It is Gemini season. Happy birthday to all of my Geminis. Gemini placements. Hello. And it's Mercury Day. Mercury is ruled by Gemini. And as well today, my natal Gemini Mercury is conjunct mercury transit so i'm extra mercury vibes <laughs> okay so i'm really excited to be live with you guys and get into this reading let me know where you're watching from how is your gemini season going is it busy 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 we have the new moon in gemini happening on sunday okay and this is going to be actually closing out gemini season because we're going to enter cancer season all right we on the day of the summer solstice so i'm doing a collective candle reiki for the summer solstice and i'm calling it the summer of love solstice no the summer solstice of love reiki okay like no 70s vibes because of the reason that we do have venus and mars in leo and venus the planet of love is going to be going retrograde there so we are going to be having lots of themes around love around relationships and money for this summer so it's the summer of love all right so for this reiki we're going to be calling in that self-love the frequency of love okay um enhancing our own relationships family friendships romantic relationships as well for new beginnings as this is a new season that we're blossoming into okay Let me see. Let me see. Let me add a moderator. Child. Yes. So that is on my website. If you want to receive the distance Reiki energy healing. Okay. I'm going to be going live the night of the solstice. It's the same day that the sun moves into cancer season. Okay. So we're also working with divine love, spiritual love. Okay. So if you're interested in that, you can secure your spot on my website, big empress energy, LLC.com. I'll be going live the night of it's a private live. And I have, um, also with this live, a sound bath. Okay. Uh, energy healing, as well as a tarot reading. As soon as you RSVP, you're going to be getting a confirmation email. And we're actually sending out two emails this time to avoid any problems. So if you've had problems in the past, you will not have problems this time. Okay, I tested it out and it is a one. It's an automation that is going to be sent from my email address with the link. And if, even if you can't watch the live, you can always watch the replay or just still just open yourself to receive the Reiki energy healing which is a Japanese healing modality that we use to transcend through time and space. So wherever you are, whenever you watch it, you can still receive the Reiki. It promotes healing and stress reduction. Okay. Um, so let's get into this reading, you guys. Everything that you need to know is on my website, Big Empress Energy LLC. Okay. But let's get into this reading. Um, for our pick a card, we're going to be having three piles. Okay. Mi gente, we're going to have three piles. So let's get into it. Okay. Let's get into it. So for pile number one, we have blue calcite. For pile number one, this is a heart calcite. I'm posting the video on YouTube after. 
For pile number two, we are going to be working with white jade and it has labradorite eyes. And no, I, I know that. And we have a rainbow moonstone. Okay, this beautiful rainbow moonstone. These are actually um stones that you can also use for love okay which is what we're also working with gemini is the lover's card it has to do with a lot with decision making okay and doing what it is that you love but you can just pick a crystal pick a card or you're just can watch the entire reading take what resonates leave what doesn't you'll know if it's for you through the messages, through the confirmation, through the chills that you receive, okay? Okay, but let's see. Where did I put it? Right here, hold on. Let's take like a deep breath together. Take a deep breath together. Mm -mm -mm. And just maybe close your eyes and just soak up this sound. Inhaling through your nose, breathing in fresh energy, and exhaling through the mouth. <sighs> Letting it all go. Take another inhale. Exhale out the mouth, letting it all go, cleansing the energy, setting the container, the intention for this reading, for the divine messages to find you, for you to know what's meant for you, for clarity, truth, and insight. relaxing okay so let's get started with pile number one if you chose blue calcite this is your reading this is your reading let's see what it is that you need to know for the new moon in no not the new moon babe sorry <laughs> yeah the new moon for the new moon in gemini Let's see what we need to know for this time, for this season. It's actually wild because as soon as I tap in with your energy, blue calcite, I was getting gray, gray, gray. And I usually see colors, okay, like different colors. But we have gray. This could be mixing the white and the black, the yin and the yang energy. It could also be like um, certain confusions coming in, wearing gray, working with silver, alchemy. But I am seeing some gray energy. Maybe y'all been feeling like the skies are gray, okay? Or you're missing someone, you're missing something. I'm also picking up on like a butterfly energy for you guys. Y'all could be seeing butterflies as confirmations. And also butterfly is you know metamorphosis is transformation you know and i saw this reel recently that was talking about how butterflies do not even see their wings so they don't even see how beautiful they are and that could be a message for some of you guys like you are a butterfly you're in transformation but you as you're in the process you're in the journey you're in the flow you're going here you're going there you're not exactly seeing your wings you're not seeing your beauty you're not seeing what makes you you and there's an emphasis on that energy maybe you guys are questioning what makes me me or you're redefining or getting to know yourself on a new level y'all got the tower card okay we got the tower card here so for this energy you guys are feeling mm, Things could be going to shambles or you're going through an emotional awakening or emotional revelations coming through here, okay? The tower card is removing anything that maybe was making your foundation a little maybe cloudy, a little confusing. 
y'all could have gotten some shocking news or you're wanting to go in a new direction now and it's kind of like out with the old and in with the new type of energy with this tower card okay um and i also feel like some of you guys are going to be making some impromptu trips okay some impromptu trips so it's like all of a sudden you're gonna get maybe an invitation to go somewhere or you're gonna have a desire to go somewhere and you're going to go 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 okay so i'm seeing that for you guys yeah i also have the devil card so pile number one you have a lot of intense energy happening with this devil card you need to ask yourself and this new moon is going to be asking you to make choices on what have i been giving my power away to who has been controlling me? How have I been thinking about a situation? How have I been like almost um, inadvertently, okay? Giving, not only giving my power away, but maybe becoming like a workaholic, okay? How have I inadvertently been maybe manipulating myself or others? Is this really even still what I want? It's what I wanted before, but it has it become a burden to me now? Has it become something that I used to limit myself and limit my opportunities? You guys are also maybe dealing with certain addictions that I don't tell people about or certain habits that you do that maybe are your shadow work your shadow sign you don't really talk about this energy and this also could keep you stuck with this card as well you guys are needing to balance that emotional and mental energy you have page of wands reverse so you guys are entering into a new um phase and passion for yourself a new way of thinking for yourself some of you guys have people spying on you or you're spying on other people you have the knight of pentacles too so the whole middle row is all court cards so you guys have a lot of people a lot of people to talk to in gemini season a lot of people to see in gemini season um some of these people could be younger than you um, as well, they're a little bit younger. You're hanging out with the young ones. The Emperor card. This is your energy. So, pal number one, you need to boss up. You need to boss up. The Emperor card. You need to uh, stand on that. Be about that. Entre entrepreneurs and enterprising. I feel like some people are going to be learning if you're an entrepreneur, learning new ways to go about your passion. You are reimagining situations. You're relaying your foundation. Some of you maybe getting back to the basics, why you do something in the first place, what drives you in the first place, what's your truest desire, not just your ego's desire. Your true desire. Maybe some of you guys started something based off of an ego rush or adrenaline, but now you're getting to the soul of it all. And the Emperor card is also this like divine masculine energy. Okay, so some of you guys may need to, you're connecting with your father, dreaming of your father, or in this way, reparenting yourself with that divine masculine energy of you putting in that discipline for yourself, not letting yourself procrastinate certain goals or dreams anymore you are needing to be like the knight of pentacles and create a practical plan okay and some of you guys are going to pause for a plan and because you pause for a plan doesn't mean that you're procrastinating it means that you're scheming you're analyzing you're paying attention to the details you are um, researching the markets you know you are scanning you're seeing what other people are doing not to copy them okay but to maybe get new ideas here with this tower card to maybe see that your way isn't the only way that there's different ways that haven't had done to you but you have to remix it in your own way. This is very authentic energy with the Emperor card. What else is going on for you guys? Some of you guys are having problems at work if you work with other people. Wow, wow. So the whole middle row for you guys are core cards and the whole bottom row for you guys are majors. So in your future, and I feel this is gonna be more moving you into cancer season. In your future, y'all are at this point where Fate is taking the lead. Some of you guys have this energy of your north node or your south node is in Aries and Libra. 
where the nodes are going to shift maybe they're in taurus and scorpio so you just went through this intense transformation but it's like very i feel like cosmic especially with this empress and the star card the empress has 12 zodiac stars here representing this the cosmos so you guys to be connected with that that this fate is driving you in a new fashion to not to not only know your worth but like not on an ego level know your worth but on a like a spiritual soul level know your worth like things that no one can take from you because you built it yourself because you came here from your past life to learn these lessons because you came here with a set of gifts that you're here to you know attract more abundance and we have this divine duo here the emperor and the empress so maybe you guys this is companionship this is someone else reflecting this energy to you and supporting you and reminding you of your worth and others it's going to be your duality of yourself we're in gemini season right the twins so you can have that reflections like your divine feminine and your divine masculine so maybe you guys and this is beyond gender um have to step into ease and flow okay ease and flow like surrendering the things that you cannot control but you know observing and making a conscious plan about where you want to go okay um we have capricorn energy aries taurus libra aquarius here too if you want to talk zodiac signs but it doesn't have to be your exact placements um, but it's actually really good. I feel like you guys have good mirrors in your life, no matter what it is, because we have two pages. We have two knights, the emperor and the empress. Some of you guys, this is a family. Okay. This is a family, um, supporting you. Okay. Reminding you why you came here, reminding you that you're not alone. And in this future, you guys are stepping into self healing in a way that you never have before. This could be through, you know, doing uh, like listening to psych psychology lectures on YouTube, actually hiring a psychiatrist or a psychologist, reading books that make you think about things, on uh, doing your trauma work, doing your shadow work, okay? All of those things here coming in with the star card. And so with this star card, you're also coming into this phase where you are an inspiration, okay or you are wanting to inspire but it's not again based off ego it's when you are doing your own self-healing your own self-work doing things for your spirit you don't even notice it but you actually are inspiring and starting a spark lighting a spark in somebody else reminding them oh yeah i came here for a purpose and a reason too Oh yeah, I need to stop settling. I need to stop playing it small. I need to stop getting in my own way. I need to realize the universe is abundant. And with the Empress card, some of you guys are pregnant with new ideas. You're pregnant with new ideas, okay? And some of these ideas are gonna require you to take center stage, put yourself out there more. They're also gonna require you to think differently, think future forward. Maybe use the internet in different ways, Aquarius being traditionally not traditionally modern ruled by uranus use using the internet to your advantage marketing yourself more the star card and also the star card is naked so some of you guys some of you guys want to put on a bikini and chill in the sun or under the stars at night in a hammock or in the grass No, but really bearing it all, being authentic, maybe putting everything on the table, putting your blood, your sweat, and your tears into it. But I love this reading for you guys, pile number one. This is really, really potent, really potent in tearing down old structures that weren't working, okay? Revising it, following through on what you want to do. 
not letting yourself get in your way or your low self-worth or your low self-value or your addictions or your compulsions or that devil on your shoulder that actually limits you or like again addictions self-harm when you are doing something that actually hurts you but it's comfortable so you're like literally having this like stockholm syndrome you're locking yourself up Mm, 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 mm. king of swords so i think this is confirmation too for some of you guys entrepreneurship this others of you guys this is you thinking in a new way you being more logical and rational about certain things okay um making a plan writing it down following through with it um knight of swords energy there's also butterflies on the knight of swords in this card on the background someone's making a decision and sticking with it okay so that could be blocking you if you make a decision but you're not sticking with it and we have six of cups seven of wands um some of you guys are fighting ghosts from the past you already had those conversations stop revisiting stop reliving those situations some of you guys are trying to recreate some a moment that happened in the past maybe in yourself maybe in your own business but you have to um also reimagine and reawaken that Some people could actually be fighting children <laughs> or you're fighting with someone who's younger than you. Wow. Wow. Let me write. Listen, listen, this is what I saw. This is what I saw. What am I to do? Don't fight children, y'all. <laughs> okay, let's pull some more cards for pile number one. For pile number one. <laughs> oh my God. It's like, I saw the little kids and then that person just jumping up like. Oh, I hope we don't hear about that stuff. Okay, we have coffin. So that's transformation right there. The desire to end something, the desire to transform something, the desire to dead a situation, okay? Um, some of you guys have a desire to connect with your ancestors or maybe even visit the cemetery or something like that. Um, let's see what else, heart. You guys want to change something about your heart, about the way you love or the way you love yourself, the way you value yourself. Um, you have a desire for love or for trans love that will transform you. Um, and again, love doesn't have to be romantic. It's a frequency. So it could be love of what you do, love of your family, you know, love of your child, you know, love of a love, of course, of yourself with that Empress card, too. Lottie, Dottie, Lottie, Dottie, we like to party. Some of you guys are changing the way you love. Maybe you used to love for vain reasons, ego reasons. Now you're loving more for maybe spiritual reasons or more. You're loving more logically with the king of swords you guys have first house aries energy so again heavy on the aries energy it's about your identity with yourself and again like i mentioned some of you guys have that north node south node in aries okay so that's also a big thing for you guys okay haunted by ghost haunted by ghosts i feel like i mentioned this earlier in the reading I, I, I don't know guys let me know i feel like i mentioned this earlier in the reading something about ghost i'll be doing a lot of readings so let me know haunted by ghosts haunted from about things from the past okay coming back Child, let me take a sip <laughs> let me take a sip Okay. 
It says haunted by ghosts or to be held hostage by the past due to the persistence of a repressed unresolved thing. While frightening, it is advised that the haunted address their ghost fully or risk becoming ghosts themselves. Torment could be connected to an intentional refusal to listen. Like death, we just pulled that coffin card. Ghosts are not necessarily welcome visitors, but they have a key to every home. Another word for ghost in this case could be ancestor or memory. Literally confirmation. Okay, haunted by ghosts. They, they're wanting maybe your attention. Okay, they're wanting your attention. All right, I'm going to end your guys' reading. Actually, pick, ask a question. Ask a question like a yes or no question. We're going to end the reading with a book of answers. But first, I'm going to pull a lighthearted, fun card for you guys. Woo! The Raven of Reflection. Okay, it's a little dark. <laughs> it says, oh, this one's deep. Your happiness right now depends solely on you. Don't put that power in someone else's hands. Claw back that energy you gave out so freely. You got to snatch that energy back pile number one <coughs> get back in the driving seat of your life honey bun spend time working out who the f you are literally confirmation for what i said at the beginning you guys are figuring out who you are now yeah you guys are needing to do things for yourself that deck is called get your deck out oracle i love it i got it on etsy so now pick no Ask a question, ask a question, like a yes or no type of question. I said this, I said this, get it in writing, get it in writing, okay? Some of you guys need to get a situation in writing, write it down, write down your plan. Punto. Okay, pile number one. That was your reading. That was your reading, Blue Cow Sight. If it resonated with you, please comment. Let me know. Like the video. And as well, you guys, if you're interested in the Summer Solstice of Love, Collective Candle Reiki for the Summer Solstice on June 21st. This is a Wednesday. Secure spot on my website, Big Empress Energy LLC.com. Okay, so now we're getting in pile number two. Can someone write it? in the comments so i can pin it if you're watching the instagram live i'm also pre-recording this for youtube okay so let's get into pile number two pile number two can i get an ochre for pile number two this is a white jade white jade with labradorite eyes if you chose this pile thank you guys then this is your reading. Let's see what it is that y'all need to know, okay? So for you guys, I'm seeing a lot of blue and green, throat chakra and heart chakra. Speaking about things that you love, having love conversations, talking about things that you're really interested in, um, honesty, vulnerability. Could be themes in your life right now. I feel like you guys are going on a cleanse or you want to go on a cleanse maybe you've been craving certain things like craving like sweets or you've been craving you know salty food carby food italian food okay um but some of you guys are eating maybe as a distraction with that throat chakra energy as well or your emotional eaters ace of pentacles yes your health this is a health card okay pay attention to your body pentacles starting new healthy habits um looking at your body differently like your body performs so many miracles a day so often we want to you know be a magnet for miracles or attract miracles not realizing that we are literally a walking miracle So when you realize that your body's performing magic every single day, you are a spell. You are a walking, literal spell. So honor your body. That's why they say your body is a temple because it performs so many miracles every single day. And so with this energy, you guys are cleansing. You're cleansing your physical body. Okay. Um, you're maybe speaking powerful 
prayers and powerful protection over your body okay whenever you step out the house or you're trying to cleanse your your energy spiritually when you come back home we got the page of cups some of you guys are dealing with an immature mindset or an immature person um also this is coming in as an artist so some people could feel artistically blocked or like you want to learn some new art skills or express your creativity in a new way and if you've been feeling spiritually blocked, spiritually neglected, like you're not connecting with the divine like you used to, the invitation is to go back to your body, okay? So this could be through breath work, right? Because breath is spirit. So if you want to connect with spirit, you have to connect with your breath, okay? That's why breath work is so grounding and even anything physical, you got your heart rate going up, you're going to be paying attention to your breath. Eight of Cups reverse. You guys are tired, okay? Tired of doing something in a, in a way and you realize you're the common denominator. You're the one who has to kind of walk away from something if it's not working. We got the Justice card in reverse. This kind of reminds me of that protection that y'all are speaking over yourself. And feeling like some of you guys are feeling like some things are unjust. Some of you might have some bills that you have to pay. Like, for instance, this could be the IRS. This could be um, traffic bills, unnecessary bills, or you want to make a, like, do a lawsuit, but you don't have the money or the resources to do it. Also, this is saying, like, when you pray for... When you pray for protection, right, certain people are going to be removed from your life. You're going to have to start over. You're going to have certain people, certain jobs, certain situations, certain habits, routines, ruts. You're going to have to walk away from to kind of create your own path, accept your own karma. Y'all got the death card. That's Scorpio energy. You have Scorpio, Libra, lovers, Gemini. So your whole middle row is major arcana, okay? So it's saying that in the current moment right now, you guys are going through needing to make a choice, needing to make a decision to actively leave certain ideas behind, okay? Leave certain people behind, leave certain jobs behind, homes, spaces, and places behind, for something new, something that you love, right? The lover's card. And we talked about your heart chakra being activated and your throat chakra being activated. And it feels like some of you guys aren't saying something because you don't wanna maybe hurt someone else's feelings. Or you're not expressing yourself because you feel like, you know, you're not used to that. You're not used to like opening up your throat chakra. You're not used to telling people what it is or how it is or what it's gonna be. And with the death card here, you're needing to kind of change that about yourself, okay? The death card is not, death is never just death. Death is never just death. Death is actually the portal way to a rebirth. It just means that something has to be repurposed, composted, upgraded, elevated. You got to bring it up, okay? You got to step your cookies up. Some of you guys, you know, we got the heart chakra and the lover's card. You're dealing with love issues or feeling like some injustices happened for you in love. Things weren't fair for you. Someone's not treating you fairly. You're changing the energy you're bringing to somebody with the death card. Um, maybe relationships transforming or upgrading, elevating, accepting different parts of a person, not trying to change them. You can only change yourself. Wow. Wow. Ten of Swords. What is good, pile number two? What is good with you? <gasps> ten of Cups. Y'all got ten, ten. Beginnings and endings. Okay, beginnings and endings. And these are literally juxtaposed. Like, they couldn't get more different. Whereas Ten of Swords is feeling like your back is being stabbed. 
be you're betrayed. Someone's being unfair to you. Everyone hates me. But then we have the Ten of Cups, which is like, everyone loves me. Life is beautiful. Life is great. So some of y'all could be going through these emotional roller coasters where it's like you're in despair, you're in denial, you're in distress. And then all of a sudden you're unbothered, you're unfazed, you're super grateful, you're grounded, you're focusing on the positive things. And that is normal. And that's human. Okay. Replacing every negative thought with a positive thought. Some of you guys, what's what's being what's hard for you is finding the gratitude. So start simple. Maybe in the morning you are writing down five things you're grateful for. At night you're writing five more things. Those are ten things you're grateful for. It's hard for you guys to see, you know, where is the joy, where is the hope in a situation because you are still living in the past, or the past is living rent free in your mind. Yes, it's five, five, five. Changes, baby, changes. Freedom. Freedom. Nice. Freedom. Last card for you guys, six of pentacles in the reverse and the eight of pentacles. Very much giving pentacles, which is about your money, your energy, your resources, your physical body, the actions that you take on a day-to-day, -day, the things that you're in it for the long haul. Some of these relationships partnerships jobs maybe haven't been um equal okay you've been giving more than you are receiving or you've been taking more than you've been given your energy is feeling maybe a little bit drained maybe some of you guys don't have time for certain things that you love or people you love because you're really busy at work and you feel like you have a burden at work and it, you know if you don't do it it's not gonna get done so that could be an indication that something has to change with that with work something has to give okay pal number two something's got to give i feel like y'all yeah, feel like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place some of you guys need to make this decision based off what feels good to you you know what would bring you more joy what would um bring you more peace what would open up your heart and some of that that's leaving behind these situations that have been depleting you or not pouring back to you in the way that you are. They leave you feeling like this. Some of you guys are just sick and tired of being sick and tired. Right? Sick and tired of being sick and tired. And it's not helping you at all with this A of Pentacles reverse. It's like, it's like climbing rock Sisyphus or something, you know? It's like that Greek myth where they're pushing up this rock and it never actually reaches the top you're just constantly pushing constantly pushing but you get keep getting pushed back so it's like with every step forward we're like taking a step backwards ain't got time for that ain't got time for that and some of y'all the stress that is coming is because you think that the night the day that you plant the seed you're going to be getting the tree and eating the fruit and it ain't like that baby okay you think that the day that you start something it should happen already why is this not happening for me it's not fair it's a process okay and you have to have patience with it okay you have to put time into it maybe stop giving your energy to the things that spirit wants you to put to rest. They want you to dead that so you can be on your path to rebirth. Some of y'all need to eat grapes <laughs> for abundance. Eat grapes in bed. Or y'all drinking grape juice. Something like with grapes. And I'm not talking wine. <laughs> which are cleansing i need to cleanse but yeah something about grapes i think grapes just because it has to do with like abundance energy okay maybe you know eating grapes can help you as well with abundance or abundance rituals or putting it on your altars or something like that Let's see what is blocking us, what we ain't been seeing, the shadow side of us. Queen of Wands. 
So power two, y'all haven't been seeing your own divinity, okay? If you're divine, act like it. Some of y'all been slacking on your intentions, on your prayers, on your spiritual devotion, on your belief in yourself. What's blocking you is that you don't have enough confidence. You don't have enough courage, but courage, courage is about doing things with heart, doing things from love. For, not for not for love, but from love, okay? You're not doing it to get love. You're doing it because you love to do it. Queen of Wands, some of you guys, a sign is going to be a black cat. Queen of Wands, energy, sunflowers, maybe get some sunflowers in your crib. Now this is crazy. We got the justice card as what's blocking you. So you think life is not fair. Why is this happening to me? What the F? And it's like, life is not fair. No one said it was ever going to be fair. Okay. But it is divinely directed. It is divinely orchestrated. Some of you guys are avoiding legal issues, calling a lawyer or settling your debts. Paying your bills with gratitude could be a struggle for some of you guys too. This is also Libra energy. Okay, so for some of you guys, it's relationships. And we have the lover's card. Pile number two, y'all seeing a lot of synchronicities. Uh, a lot of synchronicities. Um, because we, put, we, we already pulled these cards for you guys. And this is a confirmation. So what's blocking you maybe is that your resistance to make a decision based on what you love. Maybe because you want other people's approval or you want someone to like give you that okay because gemini is like you want to have the conversation you want someone to support you you want a team member you want a twin flame you want you know someone by your side and it's like even if you don't have someone physically by your side you have to know that you have your spiritual team by your side you have god by your side you have your ancestors angels everything okay so you're never going to be alone even if you try And you see, there's a sword. There's a sword in this lover's card, right? And that is going to be truth. That is going to be throat chakra work. And there's a sword on the justice card. So some of you guys need to make a decision to speak your truth, to market yourself by talking, you know, by word of mouth, by putting yourself out there and having the confidence to know that it's coming to you. Or when you walk into a room, people are like, wow, that person is super confident that person really believes in themselves instead of thinking what if i fail what if i succeed a lot of people what you're afraid of is more success you're afraid of people seeing you because you don't even see you snake okay snake again a lot of people have desires okay drake you got desires let me stop okay Lord Dordy. Some of you guys have to make a decision about maybe going to a party or going to a social event, going to a social gathering. You guys also need to make a decision to put yourself out there more, get outside your house, go to social events, um, trying to meet new people and network. You guys got energy vampire but i i feel like for you guys pal number one your own inner critic your own inner narrative can be an energy vampire i feel like you guys kind of maybe get in your own way here some of you guys it could be a lover being an energy vampire 
and others i feel like it's the things that you don't say it's the way that you keep your mouth closed in certain situations that actually you're like how do i get in this situation it's like well you know people aren't mind reading if you don't speak on it no one's gonna know Ooh, you guys got this shh, shh, silent medicine talk to me and secrets okay so i do feel like you need to have a conversation okay you guys have been too quiet okay and also a secret might be revealed or something in the way that you weren't seeing something is going to be illuminated for you guys Wow. No, stop. Haunted by ghost. Pile number one got that. Some of you guys chose pile number one. Pile number two, some of you guys chose pile number one. And so you guys are haunted by memories of the past, okay? You're haunted by what you didn't do, things that you did do. Also, your ancestors are reaching out to you. You guys have been getting downloads of memories. This kind of just reminds me of the overall theme of this uh, new moon because of the fact that this new moon has a square to Neptune. So illusions and memories and stuff like that. And then we also have the rhythms of fate and the tickings of time. Oh my God. Hold on. This is not recorded. Record. I mean, no, it's not plugged in. All right. I'm going to do that in one second. I have to do that. The rhythms of fate and the tickings of time. Okay. This says these are the laws of nature. You guys got justice card twice. So you're dealing with legal issues. Okay. Um, or the laws of nature. These are the laws of nature by which all life abides and they share the same goal. To continue forward motion no matter the circumstance. Okay. Okay forward motion tampering with either can be done in small amounts with great consequence which can be as singular catastrophic as an explosion or as generational as water softening a stone over centuries this is giving death card energy working within these parameters with great passion will produce genius so it's like if you put time and effort, if you start today, if you're persistent, if you're consistent, things are going to change. Things are going to start to happen. The rhythms of fate and the tickings of time. But you have to meet the divine. You have to meet the divine halfway. Meet your divine destiny halfway. And every doing something every single day a little bit. So that Ace of Pentacles energy of changing up your schedule changing up your routines okay um so i'm gonna pull one more quad for you guys but this is your time to think of a question you want to ask the book of answers okay pile number two think of a question you want to ask the pile of answers or the book of answers this says the empathic eel empowered one day she found her magic power and her life improved within the hour now the bad stuff can't get near her and slides right off her slippery ex exterior this says you've recognized what you needed to feel healthy in mind and body confirmation don't let these good habits slip or feel guilty for putting yourself first in fact maybe share your wisdom and raise others up too yeah i need to get empowered and you guys ask a question ask a question like a yes or no question let's see what the book of answers has to say i love this freaking book Why did I make that face? It says, ask your father. Ask your father. And I feel like I talked about father of pile number one. So there's some correlation here. Or as well, father energy could be like your divine masculine, like taking action on something and being consistent 
with that okay so that was your reading pile number two if it resonated please comment let me know okay and if you're interested in our summer solstice of love reiki happening on the summer solstice june 21st secure your spots on my website big empress energy llc.com father god <laughs> that's another one okay father god um okay guys i'm gonna just charge my other phone and i'm gonna come right back i gotta just plug it up Ciao. <sighs> oh i know why let's see if that worked And her life improved within the hour. That's amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. Okay, thank you. So let's get into it, you guys. How exciting is this? How exciting is this? We're on pile number three, you guys. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. If you chose Rainbow Moonstone, if you chose the Rainbow Moonstone for pile number three, this is your reading. Let's see what your spirit guides, angels, and ancestors want you to know for this time, for this new moon in Gemini. So I'm seeing for you guys the yellow and purple energy, your third eye and your solar plexus chakra okay um so you you need to stop asking people for advice oh you need to stop asking people for advice you need to stop asking people what to do and you need to follow in your own intuition okay follow in your own intuition It's like you already know what you need to do, but you don't do it. You got the sun card confirmation that it's the solar plexus chakra we're talking about, okay? The sun card needing here to let your light shine. Also, stop holding yourself back. Say yes. Stop asking Tom, Dick, and Harry what they think you need to do or should you do something yes or no baby you have to say yes some of you guys are asking the same questions over and over I guess we're about to hit you in the head with a rock so you can get the hints Okay, the sun card. This is also your joy, your innocence, okay? Looking in life for the simple joys. The little things in life have the biggest impact. The little things in life have the biggest impact. Oh my God. <laughs> Queen of Wands. But this is coming in as something that you guys are struggling with okay maybe believing in your own magic believing in the power of your words some of you guys as well are checking for people you don't you don't care for anymore if you don't care about them anymore why would you check for them or you feel like there's some evil eye that's being sent to you online okay some evil eye from from people it's like the hate is real justice card okay some of you guys need to stick with the decision that you have made you need to continue with that yes it's divine justice it's divine intervention nine of cups and it's going to be leading you towards your ultimate goal your ultimate ultimate destiny what it is that you actually truly want okay nine of cups you guys feel like you're far away from what it is that you want, but it's actually on your path, okay? You might feel like it. you're far away from it. When am I going to reach it? When is it going to happen for me? Some of you guys with this Nine of Cups, what you're waiting for, what you're wanting might actually take nine months to come through. Or it's like when you're pregnant and it, you know, it's nine months. It's actually more than nine months, but, you know, they say it's nine months. Um, 
like something has to be developed something has to be ripened page of cups you guys have two pages coming in here ten of swords this is nuts because we got some of these cards for pile number two i'm gonna show so maybe some of you guys are you know you chose pile number two too you got the queen of pentacles so the queen energy is heavy two queens Ooh, nine of swords and the strength card. Ooh, you guys have to remember your power, remember your strength, okay? Um, that like the queens do, like the queens have. It's like an energy of knowing your worth, not waiting on someone to validate your worth or tell you your worth or affirm your worth because you already are a queen right? When you are a queen, you're not waiting for a prince. You're a queen with or without a king, okay? And so you guys have this value with or without other people's approval, other people's recognition on that. And that's one of the struggles here. And that's preventing you from giving yourself what you want or creating the life that you want, okay? Um, I feel like some of you guys need to redecorate, rehaul, like furniture store vibes um <clears throat> getting like maybe changing the lights in a, in a in a in a room okay there needs to be some redecoration happening redecorating your kitchen or the the ways that you eat all right now you have two queens and two pages this could be moms and their children meeting up okay um and you know you needing to do this more like take your kid on some more play dates but I see, like, you guys have a lot of worry and stress, all right, because you're not trusting in your intuition. A lot of worry and stress because you're not recognizing your own potential and your own power, the power of your perspective. You're feeding your mind with garbage, garbage, all right? Um, some of you guys, at some points, this could be with the people that you're talking to or with the thoughts that you're thinking. It's just... It needs to be purified, right? And it's weighing on you very heavily. And some of you guys could have been feeling back, backstabbed or betrayed by someone who was emotionally or mentally immature. They said one thing and did another. It's like you could have just shut up. You know, instead of saying anything, you could have just shut up. Instead of trying to lead me on, instead of trying to make it seem like we were this close, or we were this tight, or we were going to do this project together, we were going to start this together, you could have just stopped. But you can still do these things. You can still co-create this. It might take long nights. Staying up late, waking it up early. It's kind of rude how waking up early can um, absolve you of a lot of issues in your life. Okay? <laughs> but you don't want to wake up. It's like, oh my god, I have to get up again. But starting your day right. Starting your day with some nutrients, starting your day with some quiet time, some meditation. Make your mornings fun again, okay? Make your mornings fun again. And when you wake up in the morning, how we feed our body, you need to feed your mind. OK, so that might mean listening to something, saying a prayer, writing down what you're grateful for, writing down what your dream was about. But you need to feed your mind when you wake up as well, not just your body. And I feel like the most divine ideas or the most interesting realizations are going to come in those times for you guys, like right in the morning or right at night. So it's extra important for you not to just reach for your phone in the morning or not to just, you know, wake up late when you know you don't have enough time to give yourself what it is that you need. I'm also feeling the sacral chakra energy with you coming in now. I think that's because when you do those things, you'll feel more creative You'll feel more in touch with your ability to bring something from the void into your reality, something from a fantasy into, you know, your present moment. You're able to bring something that was a potential to the present when you can think of these creative ways and you're going to have more 
downloads on how to flow instead of trying to force a situation and some of you guys have been sitting on this idea and you need to just finally say yes to this okay and with the queen of pentacles create the environment for it make it fun make it cozy make it comfortable for you make it desirable make it beautiful for you make it a beautiful inviting experience You know, some of you guys are going to be morning pages like Julia Cameron, the artist way, the book that advises that when you wake up in the morning, you write down three pages and that can really help certain people get out of a funk. It could also help set the tone for your day. And we have to set the tone for our night. All right. Because if you don't set the tone for your night, you could be haunted by nightmares. Ghosts of your past. People you don't associate with anymore. Because you're left vulnerable. <gasps> oh my God. I just remember I, I saw this tweet from It's Juju Bay today. And it, she was like talking about how her friend said if you sleep naked, then the ghosts are gonna have their way with you, for lack of a better term. Okay. <laughs> I think she said, Y'all need to log out. <laughs> that is too funny. Okay. I don't know how that um but yeah that's funny let me be out sleep naked you have the strength card in the reverse so you're needing to kind of you guys are going to deal with some triggers um obviously okay this could uh, again come from your responsibilities um a child someone younger than you or someone immature these triggers are coming up but it's like you don't have to stoop down to their level <laughs> you don't have to stoop down to their level um, you have to maintain your own energy. We're not matching energy. We're maintaining energy. Write that down. Strength card in the reverse. Okay, some of you guys need to realize that you're spiritually, mentally, physically stronger than you think you are. And especially mentally, because if you tell yourself you can't do something, there's no way you're going to be able to do it. Your guys' real theme is like literally like how I posted that book, say yes to life. Your theme is to say yes to yourself. Say yes to the flow. Say yes to your power. Say yes to your strength. And anything that has been kind of like a thorn on your side, realizing that that is, could be your lesser self, your immature self, your scared inner child. Um, you know, ideas that people around you who live in fear implant in you and they want to attack the queen. Oh, hell no. Divine justice will be served. Keep your heart light as a feather. Because there, there, there is a war for your innocence. There is a war on your joy. There is a war on your happiness. And it comes from the haters. It comes from people who are miserable, people who live in fear, people who take reality as, you know, whatever someone else tells them. Where they do they do? Where did who did it? Miss me with it. <laughs> Miss me with it. Yes, six of swords. Beautiful confirmation that you guys are being led to a new path. And this is spirit picking up those swords, picking up those worries, picking up those thoughts, and leading you towards brighter pastures, okay? Leading you towards something fresh. Eight of Cups, transformation, but some of you guys are looking in the past and that's what's hurting you. Or you're looking at the past in a way like longing for it. And like, what are you longing for? You know, remember who you were in those situations. Did, did you do even like yourself at that time? Mm-mm.
Um, okay, sorry. I just want to see if my mom texts me. Um, okay, Queen of Cups reverse. A lot of queen energy, but you're not seeing your queen worth, okay? You're not seeing your inherent worth, how you can attract things with your mind, how what you want wants you to, okay? Bear, power, remember your power. This is, could also be a mama bear. Power, ship, adventure, okay? Someone taking a trip, that's going to remind you of your power. And we have bouquet, okay? Someone's gifting themselves a trip. Or they, uh, in a very simple way, you can say that a gift you can give yourself is remembering your power that you're not a tree you can move you can move <laughs> that things can shift things can change some of you guys are you know need a trip by yourself you need to go on a retreat you need to go on an adventure by yourself or or, or call up somebody and be like we're going but that is a, about movement some of you guys could be moving for maybe work too Yes. You have divine, masculine, and feminine. So balancing out your divine dual nature. You see that masculine here is the sun and the feminine is the moon. Some of you guys could be dealing with someone who's codependent or you're codependent. You're seeking validation outside of yourself. Some of you guys are going to be hearing from a stage five clinger. They're going to shoot their shot at you. Um, can we talk? I'm sorry. Reaching you out through call, DM, or text. Are you having some messages coming up? Some of you guys, don't, don't tell me it's you. Don't tell me it's you shooting your shot, but you're really looking for like, pay attention to me. Don't. Save it. Please don't do that. <laughs> Please don't do that. Don't tell me it's you. Some of you guys, it is you, but that's fine. I'm just joking. Strength. Remember your strength. Remember your power. Let's see. Ooh, trash magic, okay? What someone else's trash could be your treasure, okay? Making something from trash. Trash experiences, trash encounters, okay? Um, nothing goes to waste. That MacGyver type of energy, okay? Trash magic. Your first introduction to magic was your imagination. <laughs> Just make something, no more excuses. You don't need to wait for the perfect circumstance, the perfect person, the perfect uh, tools. You have to start with your mind, okay? With your imagination, with your queen energy, and you're gonna attract this, okay? This magic. Your first introduction to magic was your imagination. Just make something, no excuses. No more excuses. I love that. So pile three, um, what I want you guys to do is think of a question for the book of answers. Think of a question for the book of answers. Oh my God. You guys, oh, you guys have the grateful great. Pile number two had it. So some of you guys might want to go back to pile two. And you also have the iguana of isolation. This says this very unobtrusive grape here is literally the key to happiness. Practice gratitude every day and find the peace you have been craving. It's sweet and juicy and there's a whole vineyard waiting for you. There's abundance waiting for you. And this says alone but not lonely. Self-imposed isolation or forced isolation, it doesn't really matter. You are in it either way. Embrace the hermit. Find your introvert. Face what you have been avoiding. Deep-seated self-hatred 
or the ironing. It's all good. Just do the work. Some of you guys are working through self-hatred. You're working through avoidant tendencies. You're working through your shadow side. And you have to do it yourself. Nobody going to do it for you. Okay. Ask a question. Ask a question like a yes or no question. Period. Period. This says upgrade any way you can. Upgrade any way you can. There's a million ways to make a million dollars. There's a million ways to level up. Pick one. Choose one. Get going. Trash magic. Work with what you got. Work with your the power of your imagination. Solar and third eye. The power to see beyond the veil, to see what others can't see, to see a need, to see a niche that others cannot see. Upgrade in any way you can. Okay, that was a beautiful reading pile number three. If it resonated with you, please like the video. I'll be posting it on YouTube after this Instagram live. And if you're interested in the summer solstice of love, collective candle Reiki, definitely, definitely stick your spot on my website, Big Empress Energy LLC.com. It's happening on Wednesday, June 21st, when the sun moves into cancer season. Okay. So thank you guys all for watching. If you're watching the replay, watching at a later time, comment, let me know where you're watching from, what power you chose, how it resonates with you. Sending you guys so much love and blessings. Bye.